click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is how drug works actually. So now in this topic we are going to talk about a particular drug that is basically known as analgesic. And what is analgesic and what are the types of analgesic, this is what we are going to talk about in this topic. So friends, before understanding the types of analgesic, let us understand the definition of analgesic and for that we have that is the drugs which relieve the pain by acting on the central nervous system without loss of consciousness or disturbance of the nervous system are called as analgesic. So based on that, this has different that is types. So for that, let me explain you that is what is actually analgesic. So analgesic is nothing but a painkiller. So while intake of this drug, what happens is because of the pain that is feed, because of the signals that are being produced due to the nerves through the central nervous system, and that is what this drugs actually this drugs prevent those signals to go through the central nervous system, and that is how basically they act like they are preventing the signal, and that is what we are not feeling any kind of pain. So therefore, this are basically known as painkillers. But still, this kind of painkillers are basically divided into two types, and depending on that is they are acting on the central nervous system and more effectively or they are acting on the central nervous system without producing any kind of major effect so based on that we have two types of analgesics and those are narcotic drugs and non-narcotic drugs so what are narcotic drugs let us understand that is they produce depression of the central nervous system because these drugs are such drugs that they act directly on the central nervous system and they have a major effect on it and that's the reason that they relieve pain instantly and also produce sleep but the thing is, they are chiefly used for relief of post-operative pain. And that's the reason that they can be very much addictive also. That is, after consuming these drugs, we can be very much addictive to these drugs. For example, heroin, codeine, morphine. So these are known as the narcotic drugs. So these all are the painkillers and somewhat it can affect our central nervous system. And now let us talk about the next step that is non-narcotic drug. So talking about non-narcotic drugs, that is, they do not produce a depression of the central nervous system that is they don't affect too much to the central nervous system and that's the reason that they are not additive also and that's the reason that while consuming this drugs we can't be additive to this drugs and that's the reason that they have many other effects not only by reducing the pain but they have also other effects such as antipyretic and anti-inflammatory so what is antipyretic actually antipyretic is nothing but a drug that is basically consumed to lower the temperature whenever a person is having a high fever and talking about anti-inflammatory drug that means for example if any kind of body pain or if any kind of inflammation that takes place in our body so while consuming these drugs actually it can act like an anti-inflammatory so therefore for example suppose if i'm considering certain examples like aspirin aspirin paracetamols so this all are basically painkillers but they are not affecting the central nervous system much more compared to that of codeine morphine and heroin so therefore this were the two that is classifications of the analgesic and this is what we have discussed about the analgesic so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much